A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all these things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Why do we preach? What is it that motivates us? It can be so easy for us to make our preaching all about ourselves. How many likes will this post get? Who retweeted something I said? Who's following me? It can be so easy for our preaching to feed our egos instead of the souls of the faithful. We want fans, we want fame, we want something tangible to latch on to. But this gets us nowhere. Our preaching needs to be powered by God, the God who strengthens us in all things. If our preaching is not planted in the soil of God's love, all that grows is a barren, lifeless tree that produces no nourishment for others. This is what this reading from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians is all about. Everything we do must be centered in God. So who should we look to for good examples of good preaching? We know how much the apostolic way of life inspired St. Dominic and the early Dominicans. They wanted to be these poor, itinerant preachers of the good news. And the best example of apostolic preaching has to be St. Paul, traveling around the Roman Empire, preaching Jesus to anybody he comes into contact with. If we read the Acts of the Apostles and his letters, we are given a glimpse into what his life as a preacher must have been like. There were times of abundance. Several times we're told of his preaching bringing many people into that faith in Christ. He was very popular. People wanted him to come to their city whenever something bad happened to get them back onto the right path. St. Paul must have really enjoyed these times where things were going well for him. But we also know that St. Paul had some bad times, too. There were the humble circumstances he had to deal with. We spent this week reading about how the Galatians had so quickly turned away from Paul's preaching. Paul was plotted against and thrown into prison several times and ultimately was killed. Paul probably didn't enjoy these times as much as the good times. But through the good times and the bad times, Paul was always faithful in preaching the gospel. Paul could do this because his whole life was animated and rooted in his relationship with Jesus Christ. And isn't it true that Jesus ultimately is the best example of a preacher for us? Jesus' whole earthly life was doing the will of his Father. We know the stories of him preaching to large crowds, and then the large crowds leaving him when the teaching became too difficult. We know at the very end of his life, he entered Jerusalem to cries of Hosanna to the son of David. And then a couple of days later, he leaves the city to cries of crucify him. Jesus was never concerned about popularity. He was always about doing the will of his father and being faithful to the mission he had been given. And this Jesus that Paul loved and preached is the Jesus that St. Dominic and the early Dominicans loved and preached. And it's the Jesus that we love and preach. Our preaching must come from the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. And we must always look to Jesus to be our strength. As Brother Ben put it in our formation meeting, the people who hear us preaching should hear someone who's in love with Jesus Christ. They should hear someone whose concern is about doing the will of God and not about fulfilling our own ego. If we put our trust in God, we find an unfailing source of strength. 
God will be there to strengthen us in the times of abundance, the times where our ministry is going really well, where there's lots of fruit that we can see, when we love the community of brothers we're with. God will be there in those times. We know that. But God will also strengthen us in the humble times, when our ministry doesn't seem to be bearing fruit, when it's a difficult time, when every day is a slog, when the community isn't what we hoped it would be. God will be there for us in those times as well. It is only by trusting in God that we know our lives as Dominican friars will produce an abundant harvest. So I ask again, why do we preach? For ourselves or for God? Yeah.